We were discussing a very broad agenda this morning, the uh, issues at local level of transparency, accountability and citizen engagement. And uh, there were three um, fascinating presentations and on which I commented. And I think the points that I was really making were that um, in the developed countries, such as the OECD countries, um, and I come from the UK, we have over the years built up a very established framework of uh, measures which are designed to both support individual citizens' rights um, but also to constrain um, abuse of power or influence um, on the part of both government and the public. So, for example, we have anti-bribery legislation but also penalties for civil servants who, who behave badly, etc. And the, one of the key points that I was making was really that those administrative processes are necessary, but they don't um, of themselves bring citizen engagement. I think we in the UK and elsewhere are still learning how to involve citizens really effectively. Um, we have a democratic uh, representative process, but people don't necessarily use their votes. They may turn to online petitions. Um, you know, there's a there's now the government has made it possible for people to petition for a vote in parliament. Um, so these are new forms of the citizen expressing their voice. And I think perhaps as public administrators, we haven't really understood that and, and learned how to use it. A secondary issue in, in the uh, presentations, though vitally important, was the question of abuse of power and in, indeed corruption. And one of the points that I was making there is that if w local people at local level usually understand what their needs are but feel powerless in the system, if, especially if those administrative constraints are not there. So if we can find ways of enabling uh, local communities to be more economically active, to set their own agendas, um, then I think we will go some way uh, to reducing their sense of helplessness. Of course, um, having their rights protected is one of the main levers for doing that. But I think as public servants, just as I mentioned in the UK, I think public servants everywhere have to learn how to have genuine conversations with citizens and not just to pass on the information that they want the citizens to hear, but be willing to listen to their real demands and take them into account in policy making.